sports that you wanna learn. Please believe me, the sports that you wanna learn. Just what you need, the sports that you wanna learn. Don't care if you in the green, and now please be seated for teaching. All right, y'all. So as I look at the top tier quarterbacks in the NFL today, you know this one guy was like, you know, I think Tom Brady is better than Joe Montana. I'm looking like, you must be out of your damn mind. He's like, really, bro? I think he's better than Joe Montana. I'm looking like, how the hell is he better than Joe Montana? You know what I'm saying? Now, me personally, in my opinion, I would still, I stand by this to the day that I die. Joe Montana, in my personal opinion, is the greatest quarterback to ever touch a football to play in the NFL. Joe Montana is, okay? And it's like, you're looking at the two football players, and you really can't compare the two. Yeah, they play the same position, but they came from, but they, but these people come from two entirely different eras of football. Okay, you got Tom Brady on the other hand. He whines, he cries, he complains and moans about getting hit, and he's where's my flag at and all this. You know, he's just whiny as hell, okay? You got the NFL rules, and I don't give a damn what nobody say. I will stand by this to the damn day that I die. The NFL was changed to help quarterbacks like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, okay? Ever since Tom Brady got injured in 2008, ever since, they, ever since he got injured in 2008, it's... Oh, well, these quarterbacks aren't fast or mobile enough, and they're always whining and crying and complaining. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they want to protect their investment. So let's change the rules for them. You can't touch a damn quarterback if you barely brush up a quarterback's – if you barely brush up against a quarterback's helmet, you get a flag. I'll give you a prime example. Remember the Eagles versus Colts in 2010? Trent, Trent, Cole was rushing, um, Trent Cole was rushing off the edge. He barely grazed Peyton Manning's helmet. He got flagged 15 yards. Stupid as hell, man. It's quarterbacks like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are the reasons why the NFL is so... How do I want to put this? It's so dumped down and cry baby is to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Now I know that's how they always call them damn calls. You know, you know, you really can't touch these damn quarterbacks. But when it comes to people like Michael Vick and Robert Griffin the third and um Matthew Stafford and Sam Bradford, Tony Romo, you know, quarterbacks like these, they don't get no damn flags, okay? Now, when you look at a quarterback like Joe Montana, he was drafted in 1979, okay? 70s, 80s, early 90s. That dude was a damn beast, man. He got banged up. He got knocked the hell around. The guy was a damn soldier. And you could, I mean, he kind of reminds me of Big Ben Roethlisberger when it comes down to toughness, okay? You know, and when I look at these two quarterbacks, Tom Brady and Joe Montana, I look at the era that they played in. You know what I'm saying? And no disrespect to Tom Brady. I'm sorry, man. There is no way in hell I'm picking Tom Brady over Joe Montana. There's no way in hell. Oh, well, he has three Super Bowl rings. I don't give a damn if he if he has six Super Bowl rings. He cheated in all damn three to get him. You know what I'm saying? He, he he was part of the New England Patriots Spygate scandal. You know what I'm saying? So I don't give a damn how many rings he have. And ain't that weird how the New England Patriots won every single Super Bowl by three points? Yeah, exactly. You know, and Joe Montana's a damn beast. He can't be stopped, and I believe it at that. If you guys want to debate, hit me on up. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the radio show. Every Thursday, it ain't no thing to me, you know, and now I'm what they call a loped OG, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no thing to me. You want to call me up? You want to debate? Hell, it ain't no thing, pimp. You know, it ain't no thing but a chicken wing, man. Just hit me up. one 888 
787-526-5265. I'm down with it. You want to debate? Well, hell, let's debate. I'll catch you guys later. Y'all have a good one, and holla back sports at your boat. Please believe me. Sports up in front of the line. Just what you need in the sports up in front of the line. Don't care if you in the grieving. Now please be seated for teachers for sports.